Hey everyone! Today I have for you the behind the scenes from the moment when Winona Earp visited the press room. So Emily, Kat and Dom visited. First they were taking some pictures, then they had an interview and then they had some more pictures. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't already, please subscribe because that really, really helps. What does not help me is cropping and editing my footage. That actually directly harms future trips to cons and behind the scenes, so please don't. If you want to share my video, just use the direct link. That, that's really best if you want to support queer content creators. Talking about supporting small LGBT plus businesses, I love this shirt. It's from Young Klexa. They're my friends. They gave it to me and I wear it proudly. Uh, it's super comfy. You know, you might find some fake designs on other websites, but if you go to beyondclexa.com, this is the original design. I think this is the best way to support our community. Just go directly to the source and um, yeah, pay the fee if you have to, you know, it's, it's how we all move forward together if we all work together. Okay, enjoy. Um, hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> You guys are, thank you, that's so awesome of you to ask about that. Um, no, didn't get the funding for the first round, but we have like plan B, C, X, Y, X, X. So plan B is we applied for another funding body this past week, so we'll see how that goes. And then plan C is just pay for it and make it ourselves. And how you guys can help. Well, it's been so helpful because you guys did all the like flat Bernie stuff and this all the amazing like social stuff. So we were able to take all of those numbers and we created this huge marketing plan with all those numbers in one document and that was immensely helpful. So how people can help is just continue with the flat Bernie and continue to engage with Pooch the series so we can just keep using those metrics. We're gonna go after some sponsorship as well. But what they need to see is they need to see evidence of an audience that already exists. So. That's basically it. Just engage, engage, and use the little flat Bernie and make him go everywhere in the world. And uh -huh. it's incredibly helpful. And we can really use those numbers. So it's been um, it's been amazing to see everybody get behind it. So thank you for asking about that and supporting it. Thank you. Yeah. Why am I so cold? Well, it's really cold. It's, cold. Yeah. Yeah. it's Vegas. It's the coldest place to be. <laughs> Over the last five years? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, I'm only 16 years old, so I'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I just think there's no more denying that there's such a powerful audience for queer storytelling, and I just think we are seeing more diverse ways, again, to tell queer stories, which is incredible. I think we have seen comedies, we have seen dramas, we have seen romances, we've all seen Carol many, many times. Um, <laughs> So that kind of bolsters me. I feel like there's not just one way to tell a queer story, which sounds unusual, but certainly when I was starting out, I feel like when you introduce a character who is LGBTQ, you know, everybody, it was necessary to have their coming out story and their struggle and maybe some challenges with their home life was certainly still a very important part of, you know, growing up queer, but I feel like that's not the only story we have to tell anymore. Now they're just part of the world and part of their own world and have their own friendships and relationships. So. Again, that kind of makes me happy that you, you know, this is such a good example, I think, of not having to have the same type of gay character on the show, for example. So for Winona Earp, we're able to have multiple, you know, representations of LGBTQ um, characters and relationships and friendships and family relationships and whatnot. So that makes me happy. Any story you want to tell with characters who happen to be LGBTQ, I feel like there's an audience for it. So that's great. Please get me some gay astronauts. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I would, can we say 50-50 gender representation? Oh, that'd be good. I wish we would, I wish we would stop referring to women in terms of how they look all the time in media or whether they're likable, because I don't give a shit if you're likable. I just want you to please make sure we can have some abortion. That's right, that's not my quote. I'm just kidding, no, pro <laughs> choice. That's the quote. No, I just mean, I think uh, the way we talk about women in the media, please don't print that, I'll pay you all a million dollars. No, no, I'm just kidding. I just mean, I wish that we had, I wish we didn't refer to women in terms 
of their appearance so much in the media. I wish we would just stop talking at all about how people look versus who they are and what they do. Beautiful. What about the abortion part? That wasn't so great. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a C plus. It was a C plus. <laughs> Thank you so much. For your oh, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. surprise, surprise. Yeah. It's funny, I saw Black Panther on the plane too, because I'm always on the plane. Uh, I live on a plane. Please print that. No. <laughs> I've had a tiny bit of vodka. In there. <laughs> you guys go to lots of cons, obviously, meme fans. All the perfect the amount, though. <laughs> <laughs>